You are making it very hard for me to say no. Good. So you'll come? You just want me to fly with you to San Francisco. Today, I, I don't know. Look, it's... we're already on the plane, and all I have to do is deliver some Forrester gowns to a charity ball. <laughs> I promise I will have you home by midnight. What do you say? <laughs> come on, Daisy, live a little. Be spontaneous. Do something out of the ordinary. <sighs> What about daisies? I just can't leave. Okay, uh, call my grandma. I'm sure she could watch after it for a little bit. Ugh. Tony, Leilani, anyone? I bet you if you called them right now, they'd think you're crazy if you don't go. You'll have me home by midnight. Man of my word. Okay, let's do it. Really? Great. Yes. Great, I will tell the pilot that we are ready to go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, San Francisco, here we come. <laughs> You know what, where are my manners to? Uh, do you want a beer? Oh, in a can. Unless you'd rather have a bottle. Yeah, this is good. Someone's toning it down a bit. Yeah, I can be casual. Really? This is the man who irons his jeans. What? <laughs> my mom taught me well. Your mom or your maid. <laughs> so this is really gonna be a long flight, isn't I'm it? I'm joking. Okay, you hungry? Is it a caviar? Uh, no, I learned my lesson. Okay, then yes, I'm starving. Good, because I think I have something that might make you feel right at home. Oh, really? Leilani sandwich? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Good uh, one. Because if you don't like that one, because I also have the Stephanie surprise and the Tony tuna. <laughs> it's Stephanie surprise, you totally made that up. It's catchy though, right? It is. Good it's job. Leilani. Thank you. All right, I'm a tuna man myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. I apologize for the onions in advance. Oh, why? Think you're gonna get a kiss or something? Guy can hope, right? <laughs> Is this what you do? You get all the ladies, you know, 30,000 feet up and then make you move? <laughs> I only did that once, actually. Oh, okay. Hey, I was a lucky lady. If I tell you, can you keep a secret? Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. <laughs> it was Brooke. Brooke, your, your father's wife. Yeah, bad, right? Oh my god, you're serious. Wow, you and... Okay, hey, look, so... You know how they're always talking about this so-called spell Brooke has over the <laughs> Forrester men? Okay. When we were headed back from Paris, I decided to give her a kiss to see if I could break the spell. Well, did you? I'm here with you, aren't I? I know it's none of my business, but I've been wondering this for a while. Okay. What's going on with you and Marcus? Ooh, that is none of your business, <laughs> but I like him, and I'm really happy for him okay. with Forrester International, but, you know, Paris is really far away. Paris is very, very far away. Thousands of miles, actually, and with the time change, you I mean, forget about it. I really don't think anything <laughs> could ever work out. Okay, all very good points. Okay. And Marcus probably has tons of girls after him, and it's like I told you both, I really like my independence. I like those qualities. But you are probably used to having girls throwing themselves at you, being a hot young fashion designer, I'm sure it comes with the territory. <laughs> You're crazy. I, actually, do you want to see the gowns for the charity ball? Sure. Alright. Yeah. Go. Oh. It's a handful. All right, now I can't take credit for these, considering I design menswear. But my dad and granddad designed these. Wow, those are gorgeous. Yeah. Oh man, they probably took so much time and energy and money to like make. Money you think could be better spent elsewhere? Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I. I mean, yes, I, I think about the fact that some woman's gonna spend lots for them and then put them in the back of her closet and not wear it for 10 years and the fuel that we're spending to get them out there, but they are 
They're stunning. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous, and it's for a good cause.